Have you ever seen a volcano erupt? Well, I don't think anyone would be waiting around to see one erupt, but let's imagine you could wait around and watch one explode. It is about the energy of 1,600 atomic bombs, and the scene would be unlike anything else on Earth. The sky would darken as ash and smoke would billow upwards, reaching heights of up to 15 miles. The air also becomes thick and suffocating, filled with the acrid smell of sulfur and burning earth. Rocks and debris rain down, adding to the chaos and destruction. The sheer power and violence of the eruption leaves you in awe, feeling incredibly small and vulnerable in the face of one of nature's most powerful and destructive displays. So, what have volcanoes got to do with you? Well, scientists definitely think it's in your best interest to know that they might be nearer to you than you think. There has been a recent one in the great city of Alaska, the volcanoes. But before we go into that, it should be known that there have been several volcanic eruptions in the United States. Kilauea is the most active volcano in Hawaii. It has erupted 34 times since 1952. The last eruption lasted from 1983 to 2018. Mount St. Helens in Washington had a massive eruption on May 18, 1980, and it was one of the worst volcanic eruptions in U.S. history. There is also Lassen Peak in California, and this volcano had a series of eruptions starting on May 30th, 1914, and lasting until the middle of 1917. So, what do we know about the volcanic eruption in Alaska? The Great Sitkin, the Aleutian Islands in Alaska, are known for their many volcanoes as they are part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. The first recorded eruption in these islands was from Mount Makushin in 1786, and it was documented by Russian explorers. Since then, the Aleutian Islands have seen many volcanic eruptions. These eruptions are often caused by the movement and interaction of tectonic plates beneath the Earth's surface. Out of the more than 50 volcanoes in the Aleutian Islands, one stands out, the Great Sitkin. This volcano has a fascinating history that we're going to explore. Let's dive in. Great Sitkin. In the past, Great Sitkin volcano's first known eruption was in 1895, but it's likely that it erupted earlier too. The problem is that it's in a really remote area, so those earlier eruptions might not have been seen or recorded by anyone except the native Aleut people who lived there. It wasn't until the 18th century when European explorers arrived in Alaska that they documented volcanic activity. And then, by the mid-20th century, modern Vey volcanic monitoring techniques were already in place. A major one is the establishment of the Alaska Volcano Observatory in 1988. During the Second World War, the Japanese were able to take over the islands of Attu and Kiska in June because these places are very rough and mountainous. This made it hard for the U.S. forces to get a strong position. The Japanese also used the island's volcanic features, like caves and tunnels, to defend themselves. The weather on the islands is also very tough, with lots of fog, wind, and rain. This made it hard for both sides to carry out their military operations. The U.S. military had to come up with new equipment and strategies to deal with these conditions. This war made the military realize how important it is to be ready for the challenges of fighting in harsh environments, like volcanic islands. Even though the military didn't think about this after losing Looking Back, the lessons they learned from the Great Sitkin campaign are still useful today for military operations in similar environments. Even though the Great Sitkin Volcano has a scary past, some people think it's not as scary as other volcanoes around the world. For example, Mount Tambora had a big eruption in 1815. This eruption was so big that it caused a year without a summer, leading to a lot of crops failing away and people not having enough food. Also, when you compare the Great Sitkin Volcano to the highest volcano in the world, Ojos del Salado, it's quite small. Ojos del Salado is 6,879 meters, 22,569 feet high, while the Great Sitkin Volcano is only about 1,740 meters high. And while the Great Sitkin Volcano has been erupting since May 2021, this is quite short compared to the eruption of Kilauea, which lasted from 1983 to 2018. So, in comparison, the Great Sitkin Volcano's eruption isn't as long-lasting. The warnings 
Why is the recent eruption in Great Sitkin garnering unusual attention? Firstly, the eruption has been ongoing since May 2021, making it a long-lived eruption. Imagine something bubbling within you for four good years. This eruption has been a long time coming, and scientists are convinced that it's not going to end anytime soon because of the unique features of the volcano. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Scientists have discovered that the Great Sitkin Volcano has two magma chambers, which is a rare and unique feature. This means that there could be more magma stored beneath the surface, potentially leading to larger or more frequent eruptions. Imagine having a backup storage tank for hot bubbling lava. I don't know what you think, but that surely doesn't sound like good news. Secondly, from the look of things, we have a walking volcano on our hands. Now this may seem funny, but it's true. This particular volcano has a shifting seismic activity, and this means that instead of the intense shaking happening underground to stay in a place, it isn't. Instead, the action is shifting from one spot to another beneath the surface, which makes the whole eruption event even more complicated and interesting. As if things weren't complicated enough, the particular volcano has interacting magma chambers. This means that there are two pockets of molten rock, magma, underground, and they are somehow affecting each other. This interaction can lead to more lava flowing out during the eruption. Think of it like two connected balloons filled with water. If you squeeze one, it can push water into the other, causing changes in both. All these factors combined mean that there's a high chance of more eruptions in the future. What is the government doing about this? Matthew Haney, a scientist, has said that a 3D model of the Great Sitkin Volcano has been made. This model helps us understand how the volcano's internal system works. It showed that the volcano has two big pockets of molten rock or magma underneath it. No one has found a way to stop the volcano from erupting yet, and we don't even know if it's possible. But this information is a good start. Hopefully in the future, scientists will be able to predict what the volcano will do more accurately and manage the effects of its eruptions better. The Alaska Volcano Observatory, AVO, which is run by the government, is working to keep people safe. They provide updates about the volcano to help reduce the risks from eruptions like ashfall, lava flows, and disruptions to travel and buildings. The AVO uses local sensors, satellite data, and webcams to keep a close eye on what the volcano is doing. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe for more intriguing discoveries like this. See you in the next video.